2017 Porsche 718 Cayman S Drivers Notes Simple, Lightweight Fun For 2017, the Porsche 718 Cayman S received a whole host of updates. This includes a new engine, new styling and even a slight name change. Gone is the wonderful 3.4-liter naturally aspirated flat 6. In its place is a torquey turbocharged 2.5-liter mill. You may not like the sound, but it's hard to argue with the results. The current car is both quicker and faster than the old one, hitting 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds. That's a factory number. Porsche has been known to underrate things like that. This particular car is loaded with a number of go-fast goodies. This includes the PASM Sport suspension that combines a 0.8-inch ride height reduction with Porsche's active dampening system. It's also equipped with the Sport Chrono package, torque vectoring and a smaller diameter GT Sport steering wheel. While it may be missing things like full power seats and keyless entry and ignition, those things don't matter when it comes to performance. Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori, the 718 Cayman S is such an engaging machine. With its mid-engine layout and this smooth six-speed manual, it's the kind of car you just immerse of yourself in and shut out the rest of the world. This example is sharp with its sapphire blue paint and snazzy, thinly spoked wheels. I think the Cayman has better proportions than the 911, and the design just flows better. It feels curvy yet taut. The only things I don't like are the plastic vent pieces, which seem cheap for a car carrying a sticker north of $82,000, and the interior, which is too pedestrian for this price. Also, the Turbo 4 sounds good, mostly, but it does get a little whiny at times. I did like the growl that's emitted when jabbing the throttle in first or second gear. I love that Porsche brought back the 718 name. If you're a Porsche fan, you know what that number means, and if you're not, well it still sounds cool. Porsche has a strong corner on this market niche, somewhat reasonably priced.